everybody, Natalie here with All Four Paws Dog Training, and tonight I'm working with Sprinkles to show you what it looks like to teach a puppy the Leave It cue. So I have another video with an adult dog teaching Leave It, and I thought it would be nice to demonstrate it with a puppy. Sprinkles is three, almost three months old. So what I'm going to start out doing is having treats in my hand. I'm going to have treats in both hands and my clicker. If it's too much to coordinate the clicker, you can just use a marker word. So I'm going to start with a closed fist with the treats, let the puppy investigate, and then the second that she backs off, I'm going to click and treat that behavior. Now, if the dog starts coming over to the treat pouch or the other hand with food, it's no problem. You just wait again for the dog to ignore. Good. Yes. And the clicker is marking the behavior that we want to capture so that we can put a verbal cue on it. Great. So in the beginning, it's very short duration of time that the dog's ignoring it and we're capturing that so we can build on it. And now I'm increasing my criteria to an open hand and if she goes for the food I just gently close as a consequence and if she doesn't go for it, yes, <laughs> good job, take a treat, good. So it's natural for a dog to want to sniff and try to eat the food, and the moment that they back away from it is when we offer the reward. Yes, good job. So then the dog realizes what they're being reinforced for and doesn't even want to sniff the food anymore because they know the reward comes from waiting rather than trying to get the food. Come here. So now that I think it's getting to be a reliable cue, I'm going to put a verbal on it. So when the dog, when the sprinkles back <laughs> off, <laughs> you really want it. Then I'm going to say, leave it. Good girl. Even if they are scratching themselves, you can still capture that as a, a time to mark the behavior of not eating the food. So use it to your advantage. Leave it. Yes, good job, good job. So if you're noticing, I'm just marking the behavior when the dog is not investigating the food, clicking and giving a treat for that, and now I'm gonna start using the verbal cue every time so she starts to understand the words of what it is that I'm asking her to do. So I'm not saying it preemptively yet because I don't think it's a reliable cue. However, when she does the behavior, leave it is when I mark it. Yeah, good job, good job. So you can go to the next level if you think the dog's ready for it and make it a little bit more difficult by putting the food on the floor. So this makes it much more challenging and you kind of start over again. So notice I'm covering the food with my hand so that the dog cannot eat it. The second she backs away, I can click and treat. <laughs> And then I want to make it more difficult and eventually be able to not have my hand covering the food. Yes, good girl. Leave it. So she sees the foods over here, but she's more focused on me, which is exactly what I want. So that's perfect. And I'm going to start to use my verbal cue. So again, I'm just going to put the food down here. Leave it. So it's working really well. Sprinkles understands the concept that the food reward is coming from me, not from just trying to eat this food. And what we're teaching is impulse control, which is really important for dogs because it's not something that they're born knowing. And the reason why it's important is because we want a nice, well-mannered dog. Um, we don't want a dog that's just lunging at every piece of food, running through open doors, jumping on people, and all of that requires training. So you can see I'm doing all force-free positive training here, and the dog is catching on really quickly. Good girl, Sprinkles. So one more time, I'm going to put the food down here, cover it with my hand. If she ignores it, she gets a click in a treat. If I can leave it uncovered, that would be great. I don't want her to be able to eat this. Leave it. Yay, good job. And again, you can see the focus is more on is she going to get the food reward from me rather than trying to get this food? So that's perfect. Very good. Very good. Okay. 
do it one more time. Ready, set. So even though she's eating, I was able to say it, she's not running over to the pile. So I'm gonna click and give her another treat for that. And that's it, I'm gonna end on a good note. That's it.